my friend so you have one of these little boxes and you want other people that have this little box to hear you right you want to have an Alexa feed Alexa stop and this is one of the things that you can do you can have a podcast but you can also have an Alexa skill which every time I talk she listens she's going to say she doesn't know what I'm talking about right this is the Alexa dot or the Amazon dot which allows you to have you ask it questions right you can ask questions like Alexa what's the weather currently in Emmyvale it's three degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies today Alexa you can cancel and you can ask her questions about anything but the thing is that you can ask her to tell you what your skills are what's in the news so for example Alexa what's up here's what's up from CBC from CBC News Alexa the world is up. next Alexa next this is a CBC podcast Alexa next from course income secrets hey my friend so how would you like <laughs> do you want to be to post all over social media on all the platforms that you so how do you do that Alexa cancel so how do you do that how do you get your app your podcast on Alexa skill so we're going to talk about that I'm going to show you how I did it and I'm going to show you how you can do it in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So you want to get your podcast on Alexa. There's a few things you want to keep in, keep in mind and you there's just a few things you got to do. It's not super complicated but it does take quite a few steps to get there and let me just kind of show you the basics of it. So let's just take a look at well first of all let's uh, share my screen here and um there you go desktop uh where is it there it is so when you're on Amazon Alexa right you want to be on Amazon Alexa right you want to be on Alexa so how do you get on Alexa there's a few things you got to do first you got to get an account on Amazon developer and then after that you got to have a podcast you got to be creating content every at least once a week and after that you can create a podcast or an Alexa skill that you can then that will then be available for people to get right so for me like if I go to alexa.jeansergegagnon.com it kind of takes me to the actual Alexa course income secrets uh don't change Alexa secrets right here that I mean you can see there's not I don't know this I guess this is a there's no reviews or anything by the way if you're listening to this and you're you want to to go it would be awesome if you can go here you can go to uh, alexa.jeansergegagnon.com and go rate my skill I would really appreciate that and I can do the same for you just let me know where your skill is I'm going to go rate it so that you can increase your views and increase your traffic on your site just let me know where it is just send me a message and let me know all right so by the way if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis240.jsgagnon.com that's cis240.jsgagnon.com so go check that out <laughs> that's going to be the blog post and the video of what I'm showing right now <clears throat> okay so let's just uh, go and get my uh I have a a file here a text document that I just started so if I look at the what is it that you need right what do you need to publish your podcast on Amazon Alexa skills so first of all you're going to need a podcast that you publish at least once a week so if you're doing like short little few minute videos every day that you're sharing on YouTube that can actually work and I'm going to show you I'm going to actually do that with you right now 
the next thing you need is you need a hosting platform or your podcast available online with an rss feed now you can do that a couple of different places and i'm going to show you where i host mine for alexa you need an amazon developer account which is what we're going to start with and you need an amazon skill that is set up to use your rss feed so in the amazon uh, alexa um, or, or sorry amazon developer you got to go and create that so first of all let's do the amazon uh, developer account so i'm just going to reset that to the normal size when you go to developer.amazon.com right you go to developer.amazon.com you're going to come to this page like this it's going to have just as basically and tell you different things you can read up on these things if i click on alexa here right it kind of shows me the tax shows me what Amazon Alexa is all about build uh, Alexa skills right create what is what is Alexa right what is it where what what can you get out of it why do you want to use it why do people want to see it right what is the what is <laughs> you know Alexa tech talk uh, women you know there's different examples here of what Alexa can do for you right and uh, yeah so that's what Alexa is so now how does that work so first of all you're going to you're going to sign in or sign up I don't know if there's a where's the I guess if you sign in you get the option of you so to create a developer Amazon uh, a developer Amazon account you basically just need your Amazon um your Amazon login right so uh if you don't have an Amazon account you can create your Amazon account right here it's free they don't charge anything so I'm just going to sign in I'm going to say sign in so once I'm signed in to uh to the Amazon Alexa right here in my case I have uh I forget where that is let me just go first of all over here it's been a while because I set it up a while ago uh skill builder okay so there's skill builders Amazon skill sets so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go go in here I'm just it's been a while since I've done this so let me just make sure that this is where you got to go what can you build how can you build so that's right this is Amazon uh skills how you create skills what how does it work getting started right they talk about um how to do it right how to get started on Amazon right so you're going to want to create an Amazon skill like this and you're going to want to uh yeah so Amazon Alexa skill they talk about how it works you talk to it then it responds and then you can listen to it it's basically you can set it up it's like a news feed right I, like you you heard in the beginning here Amazon skills is news kind of right so if you have a blog that you want to add there you can do that as a Amazon skill all right so um let me just go here into my skill developer home so whoops over here I go to Alexa developer home <clears throat> that opens me up a new tab I guess it's where we were uh, where do I create create skills create Alexa skills so I go here no I'm not this is I should have build it yourself oh build it okay how you can build build it yourself you go you go there you click on build it yourself get started right there um and I gotta choose where is it where do I choose next step start tutorial ready to build this is all documentation I'm trying to console maybe ah uh, there we go okay so Amazon console I guess it'd be down here yeah right there Alexa developer console sorry that's where you got to go you got to start with Alexa developer console which will take you to a page that kind of looks like this except there's not going to be any skills it's going to be empty so you're going to want to create a skill and you're going to want to create a custom skill so I'm going to actually create a new one right now we're going to call it real talk and uh, basically what it's going to be is it's going to be custom so you got to give it a name by the way you got to start with the country you're in so if you're in Canada um well you don't have to it's just that it it'll actually share that skill in that country you can there's multilingual thing but that uh, I never I never tried but my mentor when I first set this up said that he tried and it didn't work for him so I didn't bother so I created a skill for the U.S and a skill for Canada I could probably create one for UK for for Australia that kind of stuff but I'm just going to go and see Canada for now then what you do is you click on the custom and you click on that 
oh no you don't well you click it and then there's a next or create skill right up here so up the top there you create a skill right okay and then hello world skill fact skill low gaming skill pet skill service skill so this skill lets you get started with skill building providing hello world functionality I'm trying to see this is new this is not the same as what it was maybe it's just um a voice response from Alexa hmm, I'm not really sure what that means that's different than what it used high low game like fact skill engaging fact skill that's not really what I want this is new this is not what it was before I'm just going to cl click continue with template for now uh then he wants p c n p x n I guess there's a uh creating your Alexis hosted skill so that creates the skill maybe I'm doing it wrong here but we'll see we'll see in a second let's give it a minute here make sure that that goes it's taking a while isn't it uh, we'll take about a minute creating your Alexa hosted skill provisioning AWS prepare oh select a skill template from this isn't I don't maybe maybe I chose the wrong thing at the beginning let me just uh let me just go back here and build successful yeah that's probably not what I want let's make it let me go back to the developer console here and I'm going to go and create a skill let's call it custom flat oh there it is oh that's what that's the I wanted flash briefing oh okay so real talk with Jean-Serge Gagnon so I'm going to call it like this it's a flash briefing that's what we want sorry about that so when you first create your skill because you're creating a skill that is basically a podcast you want a flash briefing skill uh there's other things you can certainly explore these different things we're going to delete the other one so I just create skill right here it's a flat it's a flat oh I forgot the, oh, I forgot the Canada one anyways make sure you choose the right country if you're in the U.S obviously this is fine custom error message is sorry real talk not available right now okay so we you need kind of a an error here save that you can actually uh let's turn the do I have my sound off I do have it on if I do this sorry real talk not available right now there you go right okay that's good under models under models under account linking I think that's it I don't think you need anything else right you don't need anything else in here for that part then you just click on the code tab up here which well actually you don't because you don't really need it under test uh, I think you don't need that either because you're not actually uh, testing anything and then under distribution So there's nothing here either because it's not it's not a skill that we're we're developing code for I don't even know what that means but that's kind of okay so short description so daily uh talk on building your business online right so each day I post a short uh, talk on a specific topic around building your business online we discuss we cover social media automation and other business building tactics for the 2020s okay so we cover that's an error there okay what's new you don't need that um small and then you need okay then you need icons so let me just um let me just create a, a quick icon I'm just going to create let's just go find an image under uh, unsplash unsplash.com so I'm just going to go there and I'm going to load a uh 
online business I'm just going to search for something like this and I'm just going to take a picture here that kind of looks like computer let's just take this picture here I'm going to download that and I'm going to create that in a new uh in a new folder a new folder so real talk Alexa well actually I'll call it Alexa Alexa real talk right so we're doing this live right now I'm actually creating an Alexa skill I'm going to show you how that all works and I'm just going to save that in here uh, over here and I uh, so I've got an image then I'm just going to take my text editor I probably I don't need this let's just close that off don't save that I got to go back to here go up into here I got a new folder called Alexa real talk I'm going to take this picture here and I'm going to edit this so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make this a square so let's just uh, make this a square like this mm, yeah let's do that and let's uh, go to resize properties I'm going to make this so 30 so 3 3100 by 3100 so what's that look like there we go so that's a square I'm just going to save it as a square just resave it like this and then uh what we're going to do is we're going to put just some text on here I'm going to say real talk with Jean Serge Daniel now obviously this is not a really good editor you want to use something more um you know more uh, appropriate opaque and I want this to be 250 make this a little bit bigger here move this over here it's probably too big uh, I don't want it opaque I want it transparent and this will be with and the font size is too big for this let's make it 180 actually let's make this 150 no mm -hmm. like this okay so now I have this like this I'm just going to put that up there whoops oh no okay well I guess that's fine okay anyways whatever this is just a test I'm going to save this save as I'm just going to call it with the text it's got to go back up to my folder here into my Alexa I call this so with text with text dash 3100 okay so that's now the the thing is that if I go back down here into my Alexa console right there he wants a 108 by 108 png and then a 512 by 512 okay so I'm just going to take that now obviously you want to do really nice graphics that's important but in my case I'm just going to not worry I want a one what is it a 108 so resize I'm going to make it 101 oh, pixels pixels I want 108 108 uh save as and this is 108 control undo that and then resize again and I'm going to make it 512 right so it's got two files there this is definitely not how, how you want to do this you want to create a really nice graphic but for now I'm just doing it really quick save as and this is 512 okay so now I have the graphics and I can just upload the 108 right here I'm going to go back up here into Alexa real talk my 108 is uh, this one and then upload this one is going to be my 512 there we go okay so now I have that category I'm going to put that under education uh, let's say education business and finance sure keywords so online business so like make money online grow your business 
social media tips right whatever right policy url there should be a url to your website I'm actually going to use my my blog I have a I have those pages on my blog if I go down to my footer I have privacy policy I'm going to just take this link actually you can't see it. let me let me move my my video out of there so down here I've got a privacy policy I'm just going to copy this link I'm going to go back to Alexa over here paste that in here and then my terms of use uh close that little fella terms of use I'll copy that and over here I go like this there we go okay so uh these could be appropriate more appropriate based on Alexa skills right but anyways I'm going to save that so now I've got my images right and does this skill allow you to make purchases no is does this Alexa skill collect users information no uh is this skill uh directed to or children no does this skill contain advertising no export compliance a service is going to be maybe important exported yeah that's fine testing instructions no testing required okay uh then I can just go save and continue whoops let's get my face out of the way again there's a save and continue right there and uh so now now I have my Alexa skill I want it to be select countries and regions um I'm just going to put this I don't remember whether maybe it's fixed maybe there's no problem anymore but I'm just going to say save I want it to be public yes for sure uh beta test uh their email address that's that I don't need that save and continue and okay so now there there's something missing there's a where's there's no feeds oh okay I gotta set the feed where's the feed keyword skill uh, what's new where's the feed interesting availability Com privacy and compliance English US skill preview okay maybe it's under bill did I forget that I can close this fellow here mm -mm -mm. I thought it was under distribution tell us your skill uh, should appear English US customers terms of use keywords where is it that's weird where is the URL for the it's not there it's like I said it's been so long since I've done this I don't really remember oh right here Ugh. right in the beginning where you say build you got to say add new feed now this is going to be uh where it says um so you, for example they give you an example do they give you an example all oh, right enter preamble starting with in from so so from from real talk by with Jean well I, that's not gonna work because she can't say from real talk name real talk with Jean Serge Gagnon content update that's that's how often Alexa should go to your feed to see if there's anything new so if you post every single day you could leave it at daily if you post multiple times a day you probably you probably should set it hourly uh and if you post once a, if you post only once a week then you can leave it a weekly but even if you leave it even if you leave it a daily or hourly it just means that it just means that the, the if 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 so for if for example you set it to daily and you post at 7 a.m and the and the feed gets checked at 1 a.m then it won't see it until the next day at 7 at 1 a.m right and same thing if you leave it weekly if the weekly is on the Mondays or on the and then you post every Sunday or if you post every Monday and the and the updates on Monday well it won't see it until the week after right so that just means how often but the thing is that even if there's no new feeds it doesn't matter so you can leave it at, at hourly so what kind of content is it is it text or audio uh, you can I use audio obviously in this case we want audio genre what is it business I'm just put it under business 
then you have to have a url okay so this is where it gets interesting we got to show you how to get your url where do you get that drop your feed icon right here I'm going to put the same icon that I had the 512 one and um <clears throat> and then I'm going to put the url right here so how do you get the url all right so what you want to do is you want to go to click ecourse and you want to create an account on Click eCourse so you go to Click eCourse which is basically you know show you a it's basically a course hosting platform but one of the features we have is that any course that you create uh, on the basic plan and above you can have a RSS feed to feed into Alexa or even to iTunes I use it for iTunes I use it for Spotify I use it for Stitcher I use it for anyways but today we're talking about Alexa feeds so what how that works you click on the register link you can use your Facebook account if you're logged in or you just put an email today we're going to create a new account because I want to go to 240.fxos.com so we're going to create a test account so when you click on register you get an email address an email so I'm just going to go back to here I'm going to go back to my gmail uh, with all my lists because I wanted to show you the emails you get with Alexa feed so what we're going to do is we're going to create this real talk account right now account activation on click eCourse you get this link and then you can activate your account you're going to get this link all you got to do is click on this link here that activates your account and your account is activated now on click eCourse right or just close the other tab all right so now we have an account on click eCourse and I can go and create a new course I just go to courses we're going really fast through this because I want to make sure that you get this create a new course now so we're going to call this um real talk so these are these are my real talk videos from Facebook real talk videos I'm just going to say real talk videos <clears throat> learn tips every day on how to build your business online okay so next I'm just going to click on oh actually I need to have the categories the cover image so I'm going to choose a cover image the same cover image we have here the 512 one that's fine uh and then I'm going to save it all right so this is the course I created the course now I need to add the lessons so I'm just going to click on the plus for the lessons and the and I'm just going to go to my channel videos here I'm going to go and create let's go and create the very first the very first real talk uh the very first one was this one real, real talk over here get shareable link right and then I go back to click eCourse whoops over here and I put paste I just put the link right here I go like this I save it and we're going to create another one I'm going to add a new one and we're just gonna go oh actually you know what let's can let's cancel that let's go to the one that's there I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna change I'm gonna change I'll make it public and I'm gonna change the published on to be 2020-10-01 let's say right so I'm gonna save that as the first now I'm gonna add another one I'm gonna make this one 2020-10-02 so I'm just basically back back porting uh um um the court the, the the video so copy this and put that in here over here the url save that uh oh two now we're going to do oh three i'm just going to say 2020-10-03 and i'm going to go the third one get shareable link I'm going to put that in here I'm going to show you kind of how that works afterwards so I'm going to add another one 04 let's go for 2010-10-04 uh, this is going to be the next one let's go do the next one number four and okay a new lesson 05 2020 10 05 uh, where is it number five number five is over here 
put that in here save that okay so now um let's go back let's go to the list here and we go and edit this one actually you know what we got to go and set the time on these things the length of the video this was 547 so 547 save that number two as you can see they're red that means they're not published yet so I'm just going to go here I'm going to make this a published video and then I'm going to go and set the time on this one which is 436 so this is 436 back to the list number three is going to be published as well so you'll see in a minute what that all does once because the idea is that you would want to put your videos every single day in here you put you can put a link to a YouTube video or a Facebook video or even a Vimeo video if you want you just put that in there at the URI, URI that's right here you put the link to it and then it goes and, and fetches the information from it right so um oh you know what one thing that I forgot all oh, right I should I I didn't realize that I needed to upgrade the account first because right now well anyways we'll show you in a second I'll just finish this this is number three is 415 415 and uh let's see and number <sighs> Uh, number no, no, do, 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 do. back to list number three number four I'm going to edit this make it published and then number four is 428 428 and back to list and then number five make this published and this one is oops 432 432 okay I'm going to add another one uh 06 2020 10 06 because I want to make sure we have the last few days uh number six two three four five six get shareable link how long is it might as well put the time right now right so one two three four five six is this one 451 451 451 451 all right so we got six in there uh back to the list this one's not published I forgot to set it to published and save it back to the list okay so we have our list of videos now what we want to do is going to want to go to the course and you can see here there's a feeds option now the feeds option is what you're going to use to share to Alexa right you click on this and oh no it says you don't have the feeds now the thing is that the plans if you click on upgrade here you're going to be able to upgrade your feed it kind of shows you what the feature is that you're looking for this feature is not available in the free plan as you can see right here but it is available in the next plan and up so beginner plan all you got to do is you got to select here and you got to uh, upgrade it's ten dollars a month or if you want to pay the one year ahead of time it's 100 bucks for the whole year that'll give you the rss feeds okay so for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go upgrade this account um, under my admin page uh, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to upgrade it so this is this new user I'm going to upgrade this user to the beginner plan and I'm going to save that and now I you'll see there's going to be a notification here that the plan was upgraded by admin right uh from free plan to beginner okay so that then if I go back to my to the courses I can actually go to my courses by clicking on here under courses that's my own courses the ones I've created now you can see this course right here real talk and you can see that this has these um, videos this one here is I'm not sure but okay so now if I click on the feeds you can see the feeds show up now and this is the Alexa feed right here I'll just open link a new tab this is kind of what it looks like right so this is the feed 
oh actually there's no there's no video so let me just go back to here I want to edit this and I actually because because and this is what I said earlier because I um didn't specify didn't have the right account before I probably should fix that but right now what happens is that now this video is not uh gonna have the thing so I've got to re-get the share link so that it goes and fetches the uh the mp3 file for it right I just save that now it's now it's getting the mp3 right and I go back to the list and I get go next the next one number two go back to number two get the shareable link over here let's do that number two so we're just going to get that again back to the list number three number three number three is this one get shareable link go back here put the url again save it it'll go and get the mp3 uh, then back to the list again number four let's do number four number four is this one go back here paste that in there it's pretty straightforward right I mean it's not I mean it takes some getting used to to be able to go back and do that right back to list number five I want number five over here so number five was this one go back here get in here and you're going to see what happens afterwards uh back to the list number six is this one let's go get number six number six one two three four five six get shareable link number six is this one and uh, back to list and actually let's say I want to add a new one I just say add lesson right here uh, let's make this published right away and make this uh, 2020 10-07 right <clears throat> uh length is going to be 511 511 511 number seven let's add another one let's add number eight 2020 10-08 now as you can see I'm putting the published date of this week right right now not the original published date and the reason I'm doing that is well sh I'll show you in a second why is because Alexa uh wants the date there based uh, it's gonna if I was to post something from a year ago and give it the year ago date Alexa wouldn't find it because it has to be within the last seven days Alexa will go and get just the last seven days of posts that's why you have to continually add to it so every day I can come and add a new feed here and it's going to be added right so if I go back uh this is number eight number eight 445 445 445 and save it okay so now we have eight lessons in this in this um course right which is an Alexa feed if I go back to the course now you can see this course is not published yet I can click on the feeds actually let's just reload this page <clears throat> now I can see the text because now I have audios and now the feed is good so I can take this feed here and I can go to Alexa developer and I can actually put this feed right here and I can just say add and now it's there and I can save it and then I can go back to certification and I can click on run again so now it's going to rerun the certification going to validate that the RSS feed is there that all the information is there and then it's going to give me the option to submit it to uh there to the um, developer you know admins or whatever to get it verified so we're we're getting pretty uh, this is becoming a pretty long video 40 minutes in but still I want to uh show you what happens afterwards so once I'll, I'll go back to this but what happens is once you submit your skill you're going to get an email that's going to say uh, your course has been submitted for a certification right you're going to get an email like this uh thank you for submitting your skill blah 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 it tells you all about submission checklist all this other stuff I don't know why there's a you know Chinese down there but 
anyway so maybe it's because this is the first time when I did it first so certification feedback they gave me an error then I said it again and then uh your Alexa skill course and now what happens over here I got somebody actually from Alexa who actually went and created an account on Click eCourse to verify how all this works right which is kind of interesting that's kind of cool it's something you probably wouldn't be able to see uh but then they did congratulations on publishing your Alexa skill then you get this email that says that it's there and it's it's published it's there it's live right uh go back to the email again and let's see your congratulations your skill and then after a little bit uh has been uh, that's another one Not a submission submission uh, I think uh yeah and then it becomes okay so now what happens if I go back here now it's see that it's everything is good everything passed and then I can just go to the um submission right here you click on submission certify and publish I I don't want to just certify so I'm going to go like this I'm going to say submit for review Oops. and that's it so now I'm submitting for review and that's going to go over into there so now tomorrow I can just come and add a new lesson right here I'm actually going to make this public I'm going to I'm going to take this course edit course and I'm going to make this let's do a couple things so categories price commission access I want to make this course public right I'm going to go like this and I'm going to say done and there you go so now it's a public course that you can see if you go to um open uh, no I want to go and I just oh I, I just I click this open and incognito so now if anybody goes to click eCourse they're going to see right in the courses list over here um you're going to see that new course that I just created right now right down here real talk it's right here so I can click on that and I can actually access the videos I can unlock the course it's a free course right but people need an account to unlock it to have access to it but the CSS the RSS feed for Alexa is not part of that they don't they don't need a, an account or anything it's just automatic so that's all set up and you have your you know your videos your your audios really on Alexa skills and now once it's approved once you get that approved what will happen is it'll it'll change from in review uh to uh live like this right you know change to live so like just like I said I have course income secrets in English CA I have course income secrets English US that's live right and I can probably do the same thing for other course income secrets for other countries I probably should do that um and that's kind of how I would do that right and there you go so that's how you get your podcast on Amazon Alexa as a skill all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions just reach out and we'll have we can have a conversation and help you out with anything just go ahead and reach out all right we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.